The following program is called Brain Games. It has been known to drive people bananas. Innocent viewers often scream at the sight and sound of some of the questions. People with weak knees or those with a fear of failure are advised to refrain from viewing. Parents should watch only at the discretion of their children. I said, I said no, 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 mommy. No, no, no. No, no mom. No, mom. So hold on to your thinking caps. And let us begin. Rondovia. This is the secret book of Rondovia, a place where everybody is out of sorts. And no wonder, because everything is out of time and place. To decipher the book's code, we will tell you tales, and you will tell us their mistakes. Let's begin. We are at the court of King Henry VIII. Fun-loving Henry likes sports. But which of these sports could not have been played in the 1500s? Tennis, bowling, boxing, or basketball? Well, King Henry could have played tennis. It had been around for about 300 years. And bowling is one of the oldest sports. As for boxing, the first boxing match happened 3,000 years ago. So, King Henry could have been a boxer. But what he could not have played was basketball. That sport wasn't invented until 1891. So, King Henry never dunked, unless it was a dumpling. A don't dribble, Henry. Now we return to Tales of Rongovia. The year is 1142, and it is the golden age of chivalry. Now, when a noble knight tried to impress a lovely lady fair, he could have used all of these eating tools except one. Which one of these could he not have used? A golden goblet, a silver fork, a metal knife, a jeweled spoon. Well, he could have used a knife. And goblets and spoons were found even in the poorest huts. But in England, forks were still unknown at the table. Knives and spoons did the job, and food was finger-licking good. Now we flip the page to the time of the mighty Roman Empire. Ah, Emperor Julius Caesar, who makes Rome his home, is having a wild and crazy party. At this festivity, the emperor could have tasted all of these delicate morsels except one. Which one could he not have had? Luscious melons, lemon ices, sweet dried fruits, or chocolate candies? Well, available to our emperor were luscious melons as well as sweet dried fruits. And Julius could also have enjoyed a frosty treat of lemon ices. But what Julius could not have enjoyed at his party 
was chocolate candies. Chocolate comes from the South American cacao bean, and the ancient Romans didn't even know that South America existed. <laughs> Julius Caesar lived until 44 BC. BC, before chocolate. And now we turn to the early 1600s, and we are in the time of the famous playwright William Shakespeare. Shakespeare hath come down with a case of the flu and cannot attend the premiere of Hamlet. To sneeze or not to sneeze. <laughs> ah! To treat his patient, Shakespeare's doctor could have used only one of the following. A stethoscope, an x-ray, penicillin, leeches for bloodletting. Which one could his doctor have used? His doctor had no stethoscope. It was invented in the 1800s. As for the x-ray, that was invented in 1895. And penicillin was discovered in 1928. So Will's doctor could only have used live leeches for bloodletting. It was believed that the leeches would drink up the bad blood. But leeches can't do much to cure the flu, so Will Shakespeare would have been better off with chicken soup. Now it's time to close the book of Rongolia. The sun is coming up, so it's time to say good night. I bid you farewell with a fond hello. Game number two. Hey, hey, gang, it's memory rock time. Introducing that sensational new group, the Cucumbers. Singing their new song, My Boyfriend. Okay, get ready. This is a memory game, and you must watch carefully, because the picture that you see is going to disappear. Watch carefully because I'm gonna ask you to remember what you see, what it is that you see. Got it? Good, because it's gone. Here comes our number one big hit question. How many members are there in the band? Were you watching? How many members in the band? If you said four, you hit the score. Hey, hey, there are three guitars and one drummer. And the memory rock just keeps on rocking with question numero two. How many cucumbers are singing at the mic? I ask you now, how many are singing at the mic? My boyfriend, Tell me two and I love you. There's that sweet little pickle Dina and that sour pickle John. So there's vocalist two singing My Boyfriend. The memory rock rocks on. Now watch those guitars, because here comes a toughie. Watch them. Watch them now. How many of the guitarists are strumming those strings with their left hand? That's right. How many are lefties? Here's the answer. The question's done. They're all right-handed, so the answer's nine. <laughs> Check out how they're strumming those guitars, and you'll know I'm right off. And I'm going right on to question number four. How many drums does our drummer boy drum? How many drums make up this beat? If you said three, then right you'd be. Hey, there's one bass, one snare, and one tom-tom. Okay, now you think you're ready for anything. Well, I'll take that notion apart with a killer question. Only one in a million listeners gets this one. Good luck. What's the name of the cucumber's song? What's the title of the song they're singing? The title is... My Boyfriend. My Boyfriend. And if you've got that right, you've got a memory I would not, because you are a genuine memory rock. 